All right, welcome back to another episode of Shayla's Questions. Woo! Look at my herpes. <laughs> There's Gage. Hi, Gage! All right, so we are back. I have struggled. I am looking like a tattered, oh, beaten up. Look at my face. I haven't shaved. I just got over strep throat, and then because I had strep throat, my cold sores decided to apocalypse on my lower lip there, and they're just chilling there with the He-Man germ. <laughs> Remember? He's there, and they're accountants, and they're all talking, and there's a big windstorm here. All right, so we're going to take your guys' weight loss questions. We're going to talk about losing the LBs, feeling better. Remember, you guys, that's what it's about. I know a lot of you guys in the comments and the Twitter replies I've seen have talked about, like, I haven't seen the scale change. Remember, at the end of the day, it's about just health and vitality and feeling better. All right, so let's get to your questions. Linda Bindaboo asks, is that how you say your name, Linda? Linda Bindaboo? That's cute. How would you suggest getting back into a workout routine while recovering after becoming sick? That's an issue that always pops up with me. Well, Linda, you can see why I took your question. Great question, by the way. So I have been like, I haven't worked out for probably four or five days now. And I haven't gained a lot of weight because I really haven't been able to eat because I haven't been able to swallow my own spit, let alone eat much food. So I haven't worked out, but I'm excited. Like it's actually been a, uh, like, I feel like I'm ready to go work out because I've just been laying around so much, but you got to get back into it. It's, it's, it's the only advice I can tell you is you have to just jump right back into it. Do it fun. Like do something that's fun when you, when you get back into it. I'm planning on going for a bike ride today, for example. Like I'm not going to go for a huge run. I'm just going to go for a nice bike ride and just ease back into it and, you know, start getting ready for my next routine, which I'm probably going to run the St. George Marathon. I haven't totally decided, but I did get accepted into the uh, drawing for the St. George Marathon in Utah. So uh, that'll probably be the next race that I'll start training for and my next marathon. And then other than the St. George Marathon, um, we are gonna do the half marathon in San Francisco at the end of July. So if some of you want to train and run with us, uh, Colette and I are both gonna be running the half marathon in San Francisco uh, across the Golden Gate Bridge. So come run it with us. It's only 13 miles. You guys can run 13 miles. Come run it with us and it'll be like, we'll all get together in a big group and we'll all run and we'll be like, remember that time that we all lost weight and we ran and we felt better? <laughs> yeah, high five. Yeah, you look great too. Yeah, that's a nice medium you're wearing. It'll be fun. So uh, yeah, those are upcoming races that we're uh, looking at running. So you guys should join us. All right, from Twitter, Aman823 at Wonder French Toast. Weird Anyways, hey Shay, what are your opinions on five day detoxes? Please answer, smiley face. I think a detox can be good. I think sometimes a lot of us, I know for me specifically, you know, a year ago, I was so clogged up and jammed with just so much like old food and just crap that sometimes a shock to your system to kind of clean that all out is really helpful. But don't, I would say be careful on what detox you do. Like I said, stick to the basics. All the secrets to weight loss are there are no secrets. Fruits, vegetables, lots of water, exercise, and sleep. You know, you stick to those basic things every single time, your body will feel better, you'll thrive, you'll lose weight, you'll look better. Once again, fruits, vegetables, exercise, drink your water, sleep. That's it. Next question from Twitter, Sewer DJ Spads asks, Shay, where should I send my before and after shots for Shay answers? Is there an email? I'd love to send mine. <laughs> Please have your shirt on, Stuart. Yes, we want to see your guys' before and after pictures. So what we're going to do is on Instagram, Facebook paid a billion dollars for it, so we better use it. I guess we don't have to use it, but I like Instagram. It's fun. Uh, add us on fa on Instagram. I'm always like deciding which filter I want to use. But yeah, then you can like I know that there's apps that you can get where you can like you know throw in two pictures. What are they called? Photo stitch. 
photo stitch. Just download an app and you can put the like before and after pictures. But yeah, you know, then just tag us or send us the picture of your Instagram and we'll uh, put those in next week's episode, some of your before and after pictures. All right, now it's time for your video responses. Video responses. What do you Today's video response comes from Rusty72. And his question is... Hey Shay, this is uh, Rusty72 here. I started my weight loss uh, path back in October. And I started out with mountain biking. And then I started running. Now I've got a road bike. And so between the three, I've lost about 50 pounds. I am registered for a Tough Mudder in October. And I'd like to lose another 50 pounds before then. My question is, is I'm stuck at 300 pounds for about the last eight to nine weeks. And I've tried all kinds of different things with my diet and uh, my exercise routine, and nothing seems to be working. The question is, is have you ever had a plateau? How long did you stay at it? How did you get past it? And how did you... Uh, Keep yourself motivated. Great question, Rusty, and congratulations on the 50 pounds, dude. That's that's what you gotta do, man. Just start somewhere. Mountain biking, you can definitely see you've been through the journey. I would say the only thing, I mean, to break, break through a, a plateau, you just gotta up, you gotta up everything. You, your body has kind of gotten used to it. Your body, our bodies are crazy at adapting. Uh, you know, they just get used to whatever we put them through and they survive. So you just gotta hit it. You gotta up your mileage, whatever you're doing a week. Say you're biking, you know, 100 miles a week. You gotta start just upping it. Say, okay, next week I wanna try to do 120. And then after that I wanna do 150. And you know, the more you push your exercise, you're gonna break out of that plateau. Your body just won't be able to not adapt because the more miles you do, you know, the less weight it's gonna have to be and your body's gonna lose that weight. So just increase your intensity and your exercise and uh, fruits and vegetables, man, you know, uh, all fruit day, you know, can really get the body, you know, burning some of that extra pounds. But be honest with yourself, you know, set measurable, you know, things. Like if you know that you're running 20 miles a week, say next week I have to run 25 miles and hit that number and make sure you're actually hitting those numbers. Because if you make sure you measure it and you up that, your body will just follow and you'll break out of those plateaus. Great question, Rusty. All right, you guys, it was great talking to you today on Shay Answers, Shay Lost Lancers. What should we call this show? We don't have an official name for it. I'm not sure. L the point is, is let's come here and let's chat and help you guys get feeling better. Just because like I I've lost the weight doesn't mean we can't still talk about you know the process of doing it and just having a body. I feel like anybody that has a body could come here and talk about you know having a good, healthy, thriving body because you feel better. And at the end of the day, I hope you guys know that that's why I'm doing this to help you feel better and it can be frustrating at times because I there's cars because that can you hear it um hold on I can't I'm gonna think exactly what I want to say here oh shoot what do I want to say what I okay are you still rolling is this hall rolling just leave all this in Blake because then they'll see like the torment that I go through why and in trying <laughs> this is why we need yeah that was the top comment why do we need a producer this and exec why. this is why <laughs> leave all this in Blake and editing this I want you guys I'm not a douchebag <laughs> the, there was a comment in the last vlog did you see it it was like uh, I miss the old Shay this guy's yeah. like a like a douchebag and you know, then it's like, I'm like, well, maybe I just won't even make these Shay Loss videos anymore. But then I'm like, well, no, because there's definitely there's people, enough, there's people that are like, you know, benefiting from it. So I don't want you to be like, oh, look, at Shay's all skinny now and he's all telling us what to do. Like, I'm not an expert, but I definitely feel better. And from what I'm told, I look better. And you can too, is the simple fact of it. Like, I'm not just here to like, you know, promote my new shirts. Be sure to check them out. Links below. I really do want you guys to feel better and experience a healthier way of life and an elevated state of being through exercise and eating the proper foods that your body really does need and benefit from. And there are scientific proof that you will feel better. And look at me, I feel better. Isn't that enough proof? <laughs> so uh, leave your questions and we'll, we'll keep talking about it because I think that there's enough of you that do wanna go on this journey and have this conversation. And I think it's worth having. So leave all those responses below and we'll talk more about it next week. But seriously, buy my shirt links below. Okay, see you guys, bye.